yes I am at Minerva and today I'm going to be doing a sign along with you today uh, for a gorgeous little vintage apron. So here it is and the version that I'm going to be doing is this one right here. So I'm going to be using a couple of contrasting fabrics to make this really stand out and as you can see there are different options that you can choose from on this apron so you could have one with more of a frill or you could have one that just goes around your waist. So this is a really versatile pattern and I think this would also make a really good little make uh, for gifts, so Christmas gifts and birthday presents. Uh, it would be really nice and also really good for using up uh, scraps of fabric. Now if you'd like to sew along with me today you can use the same fabrics that I am. So I'm using this lovely little butterfly print poly cotton fabric. So that's my first fabric that I'm using. And also some blue chambray cotton here. And I think that'll look really nice. So in our pattern here, we've got a sort of a contrasting band around the bottom, just there. And I also think it might be nice to do that pocket in a different, in the uh, different colour as well. So there's lots of options to choose from there. These will all be linked in a bundle below if you want to uh, follow along with me and make it exactly the same as I'm doing. Alternatively, you can follow along and use up any scrap fabrics that you uh, might have uh, knocking about. So you could buy the pattern and the notions and then just use up what you have. So remember, everything's linked below if you want to sew along with me and make it exactly the same as I'm doing today. So why not go ahead and join our Minerva Craft Club? If you join our Minerva Craft Club, you'll get 10% off all your orders for a whole year. So that's a really good deal. And anything that you buy today will be included in that deal as well. Also, why not create a free account? So it's really easy to do. And then you can save all your projects uh, sewing ideas, fabrics, videos such as this one and come back to them at a later date and they're all together for you uh, in one place so you can collect all your ideas together and come back to them later on when you've got time to work on them. Also it's a really good place to connect with people all over the world, like-minded people who love sewing just as much as you do. So why not go ahead and do that now? Okay right we're going to go ahead now we're going to cut out our pattern pieces. So let's do that together. So here we have our apron pieces. Remember to uh, wash and prepare your fabric as you would normally before you do any cutting. This is the apron front for C and D. So you cut one on the fold. Here is the fold. And make sure you match these notches. Mark them on your pattern here apron front, cut one on the fold. Now what I would like to mention here is that because I've opted to do this sort of detail at the bottom with the contrasting fabric, I've cut my pieces out as normally and then I've just added an additional strip because what I feel is best to do here is just to stitch this on directly this gives you a little bit of extra weight at the bottom of the apron as well. So rather than cut that as two separate pieces, I'm just going to sew this contrasting strip on top on mine. You can cut that out separately if you wish. So with the next piece, this is the apron back. Again, for C and D. This time we're going to cut two and again I've cut my strips here at the bottom and I'm going to be pressing those and stitching those directly on top. Here you can see the uh, direction of the arrow if you're going to be doing a contrasting piece it's going to be going in this direction. So we're just using the plain chambray here and that's going to be stitched directly on there like that. So apron back for C and D, cut two. Next here, 
we have the yoke and tie end. So this one, you're going to cut it on the fold here. This is the fold. And you're going to cut two of this one. Mark all the notches and the little circles. And this is for C and D again, the yoke and tie end. Next we have the shoulder strap. This time we're going to cut four. Here is your grey line. Mark your notches. I've done this one in the butterfly fabric. And as you saw on the last one, I did the yoke bit in the chambray. So it's up to you which way around you do your contrasting pieces. Next we have the bib. This is for C and D. And we're going to cut two. Mark your notches and these markings here. And then a pocket piece. So you're going to cut one of this one and I've opted to cut that, I cut that in the chambray fabric. So here is my grain line, here is your fold line and this is for C and D again. So my first job here is I'm going to stitch on my contrasting panel at the bottom. So if you've done this in two separate pieces you're just joining the two pieces together. I've opted to put this directly on top so I've got a bit of an extra layer. So I'm going to top stitch that on now. Now your next job is to stitch along the upper edge of your bib facing. So this is your bib facing piece and you're going to stitch along this top bit here. just going to machine stitch around this outer edge so that both sides are together. so that the curve is going outwards and following this line here. You're going to stitch it from here. Back tack. same again on the other side. And your other facing pieces for your straps will be the strap facings and go on the back of here. So now I'm going to stitch the back of my straps on. So here is my right side and I've got my right sides together. And then I'm 
also going to stitch along there. that through. So I've pressed mine down all the way along and pinned it so that now I can hand stitch mine. Now I've opted to stitch around here on my pocket piece and then just leave a little opening here. The reason I've done this is so that we can get a nice curved edge there. So I'm going to snip that now around those corners and then I'm going to push it through. Now you can press this flat once you've finished to make your pocket nice and rounded. Or you can just top stitch it down, put that through and then this will just fold in. So as you can see now, you get a nice finish on that curve of your pocket if you do it that way. And then you're going to place it on your apron front. Now you might want to put yours in the middle. I'm going to put mine over to one side like it is on the uh, pattern front. So decide where you'd like that now and pin it in place. I'll move mine about about there. Now you're going to do a line of gathering stitches between your notches all the way along the front of your apron and along the other side. Don't back tack, leave it to run through. Now I'm going to fold under all my edges of the apron and also along the hem ready for it to be stitched into the waistband. So I'm going to do that the whole way around now. I'm just going to fold it under a double folded hem. All the way around. Now we're going to sandwich the bib between these uh, pointed yoke pieces. So you need to find your right side and place it on top. And then get your other piece. And that's going to go between it. So if you position this in place, this is going to be sandwiched between here. So here it is pinned on. So you've got the bib in between. We're going to stitch to here. See that sandwiched in between. When we get to here, we're going to lift up our needle, pivot, and then we're going to go up this side. So I'm going to do that now. Oh. 
that back out of the way and bring this part round. So you're going to do a, need to do a little bit of smoothing here to get that to turn. Also find you need to make a little notch just in there. And on the other side you will get this point which can be pressed out. <laughs> And then you're going to continue stitching your side straps together all the way along. So now you're going to attach your apron skirt to your yoke. So here's your yoke and it's opened up as you can see. And then I've got the skirt bottom and we pin that right sides together matching these notches here. So pin it here. And also at the other side and then you want to even out all your gathers and pin it all the way along before stitching. So here before I've uh, stitched on the crisscross straps at the back I've opted to try it on here so you could try it on yourself or a mannequin if you have one just to make sure that that's nice and secure so it does say on the pattern to stitch it to the outside. I've stitched it to the inside. That's what I'm choosing to do here. So pin it first, make sure that it fits nicely, and then we're gonna stitch this on the inside. So here is the finished apron. Crisscross back, tie belt, well that's the finished apron and I think you'll agree that will make a really lovely gift for somebody or even just something for you yourself to do your baking in. If you've enjoyed this video remember to like and follow Minerva that way you'll get more videos like this every week. Have you sewn this pattern before? Please let us know in the comments below. We'd love to see all your lovely makes. Well, that's all for now. And I hope to see you back here again soon for another sew along. Bye for now. Bye.